And now we're going to check in with our friends in San Angelo at KLST. Thanks, Joni and Bob. Greg, Jay, and I are here in the KLST TV studio in San Angelo. It's just that we have no electricity, and like a lot of other people, we don't know when we're going to get it back. We have a lot of things to talk about during the next few minutes, but we'll start with the very latest on the, the crisis electrical situation. Yeah, electricity, water, pick your poison right now. AEP provides much of the electricity to the city of San Angelo. It says tonight about 13,000 more are without power. Now, of course, that doesn't include all the surrounding communities that also have other power sources as well. So, so many customers, thousands of them without power tonight. Now, let's check a look at some of the video shot today around San Angelo as folks were out trying to clean out from under all this mess. Uh, city officials have been trying uh, to reach uh, AEP about the electricity issues in San Angelo and say the power provider has been unresponsive. Some residents have gone days now without power in the sub freezing temp uh, degree temperatures. In fact, San Angelo has tied a record set back in 1947 for consecutive days under 32 degrees at six. It's amazing. City officials can't say when electricity will return, but are doing what they can to help. Most importantly, the McNeese Convention Center and the stables at Fort Concho are warming stations. So if you don't have power, haven't had power, please get to one of those two locations. We've got power there. We've got some food. You may bring your pet, but don't stay home and tough it out. Get to our facilities, please. Now, for those without power, the city is trying to make repairs and restore pressure, but officials say a major challenge right now is because of these freezing temperatures, they can't find the leaks. The city has asked if anyone does see leaks to please contact them immediately, Carolyn. As we were saying, a number of people around the Concho Valley, not only here in San Angelo, but everywhere, are going on three days now without electricity. And Concho Valley County and city officials are doing what they can to set up operating shelters. This afternoon, the McNeese Convention Center in San Angelo actually reached capacity at about 150 people. Also, a lot of ASU students and other volunteers have been working the past couple of days along with the Red Cross to make sandwiches and try to help people just stay comfortable. We've got water and power here, so I mean, you, if you need to charge your phones and all, we have outlets to charge phones. And um, no, it's very nice and warm and comfortable here. So if you don't have a place, and there's also transportation, uh, the numbers are out on the city's website as where to who who to call if you need transportation here. The Fort Concho Stables, which is a large building downtown just off South Oaks, is now the warming center that people are being allowed to go to. You can take a pet. Remember to take your pillow and your blanket and always wear a mask. Let's get to the water situation now. For the last couple of days, crews have been working across the city to to try to fix more than half a dozen major water leaks that's creating water pressure, pressure problems. It's also actually a lot of people don't have water because of that. What city officials are asking you to do tonight is you can drip your faucet later in the evening. That's a standard procedure to keep it from freezing, but please don't do it too much. That's one of the reasons that they can't get the pressure back up to where it's going. And to add to all of this, we are going to be under another weather advisory, right? Yes, tonight we're going to be in the teens. Tomorrow morning starting at 6, we're in a winter weather advisory from pretty much uh, here in San Angelo and further south. Unfortunately, we're going to be seeing another one to three inches for us. So that's going to be happening a little further south. We'll be watching it. Temperatures just getting to 30, so staying below freezing. And it's really going to add on to all that we're seeing here. And we want to let everybody know, too, that roads are really not safe yet. They, there was a little melting today, but there's mm -hmm. still a lot of ice out there and snow. And it seemed like the roads became more slippery as the temperature went up a little bit. It seemed like it made the ice worse, in my opinion, having gotten out on some roads today looking for water because I have no water at my house, hence the cap today. But uh, that's kind of the way it is. You yeah. mentioned, too, Angelo State University, no classes until next week. We'll have more on closings and an update for you tonight at 10.